let us see how to obtain parity check matrix when parity check polynomial is given so for 7 comma 4 cyclic code if gx is x cube plus x plus 1 and hx is equal to x raised to 4 plus x square plus x plus 1 then the parity uh, check matrix we are going to obtain from this polynomial x raised to 4 plus x square plus x plus 1 this we have already seen how to obtain these so parity check matrix you have to remember that it has uh, 7 columns and 3 rows <coughs> And uh, uh, we are going to now obtain this H matrix. For that, uh, you have to start from this. So 1, then X is, uh, X coefficient is 1, X square coefficient is 1, X coefficient is 0, and X raised to 4 coefficient is 1. So 5 elements you got. After that, fill with two zeros because there are 7 columns. After that, you uh, do one cyclic shift. That means 0 will come here and this will be shifted ahead. This row, uh, for the third uh, row, you have to shift this row by one cyclic shift. So, 0 will appear here and this will be uh, further moved. And you got this H matrix which has 3 rows and 7 columns. But it is not in standard form. To get the standard form, we need at the last of this H matrix as uh, identity matrix which is of the dimension n minus k that is equal to uh, uh, n minus k here is 7 minus 3 that is 4 oh, sorry uh, 7 minus 4 7 minus 4 that is equal to 3 so you want here 3 by 3 matrix at the last of this matrix so to get the 3 by 3 identity matrix you can observe here 1 0 0 first row is ok that is in identity form second is okay third is not okay where you get this extra one so to cancel out this extra one you need to add r1 and r3 so 1 plus 1 will be 0 in mod 2 and you will get 0 0 1 here so the same operation is done r1 is as it is this r1 is as it is r2 is as it is r3 is r1 plus r3 <coughs> So 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, and 1 plus 1, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1. So you got the standard form of the uh, H matrix, that is parity transpose into identity. Now how to obtain generator matrix from this? Generator matrix has the form IK in the first ik and then p so ik means 4 by 4 identity matrix so form the 4 by 4 identity identity matrix this one you have to write down 4 by 4 identity matrix so, so you you got here four rows and four columns remaining are three rows three columns you have to find so three columns will be you have to observe here pt that means you have to make this 101 zero one as the first row of generator matrix. So 101. One. Here 101. One. Then this column triple 1 as the second row triple 1. Then 110 one as the third row 110. One zero. And fourth column 011 one one as the fourth row 011. One one. So uh, in this way, you obtain generator matrix from the identity mat sorry from the H matrix, as well as from generator matrix you can obtain the H matrix. So H matrix you have to remember here you have to form the three by three, uh, three by three identity matrix. Then like this three by three identity matrix, and then transpose uh, this P. So triple one zero this row will become the column. Uh, so the, this column become the row triple one zero and this column will become the second row zero double uh, triple one and this column will become the third row one one zero.